Yes. The very first uh, time they showed up at my doorstep, it was a threat to my life. That was the greatest and still looming threat. Because, and that is that is what motivated me into, into action. Once I figured out what was actually going on, you know. Once you come back to Denver, you realize, oh, oh, this is a threat to my life, this is a threat to my way of life, this is a threat to my identity. I was visiting this tribe um, in Canada. Uh, called the First Nations tribe, called the Blood Tribe. And their whole reserve, uh, three quarters of their reserve was leased by the tribal council. Mm -hmm. And the elders, it was the biggest reserve in Canada. The elders got very, very upset. So they brought me to give a keynote address at their conference. They gave me a, a name and a headdress. And it, was like, it was a total event. Great. I went all around their uh, reserve. And I said, look, we've been here for thousands of years. We can't move. We can't move. This is our our land, where we've been here forever. It's kind of how, and I got a sense of what it means to be connected to the land that you're living in. And that's sort of the way I feel. Like if you destroy that place, you've destroyed a big, big piece of me. You know? You can't leave that. That's not, not an option. So you're cornered. And when you're cornered, I mean, even a bunny rabbit will fight back when it's cornered. You know, any animal, if you corner it, there's no chance that they're gonna attack, you're gonna get attacked by the Easter Bunny if you <laughs> get it in the corner. And this is how, this is, was the first threat, the only threat, the greatest threat, which was what they actually are doing now. And that's how I view it. Um, as far as everything else, I, I, you know, I don't know, I don't think so. Um, then nobody's calling me up in the middle of the night doing heavy breathing or, you know, <laughs> ro rotating. Or, Yes, completely. They, they removed like chemicals that it would be okay and you know, be safer and it'd be reasonable to the whole action of it. Two, two points. First one is so even if they took all the chemicals out of the process, when the fluid goes down to the hole, it encounters all this stuff that's really bad for you that's in there naturally. Normally occurring radioactive material, radium, benzene, toluene, all organic compounds. These diesel range organics, these are toxic. So the water's gonna come back toxic no matter what. It's gonna come back up through the well, it's gonna come back up, presumably passing through the aquifer. If there's anything wrong with that casing, there's a lot of things wrong with these casings. It's getting into the aquifer. You know, so there's no way to do it without an enormous amount of toxicity in that waste product or in the building process itself. Second thing is, there's this other notion that's been debunked, which is, not very popular in America, but it, around the rest of the world, people are kind of worried about it. It's called climate change, global warming. You know, it's a kind of a weird fairy tale that the rest of the world believes in that somehow an American media has, has decided is a theory. You know, um, and it means there's this enormous amount of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere and the planet is getting hotter. We're at 380 parts per billion of Carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, we have to get down to 350 or else we're, we're in trouble. We go all the way up to 450, life on the planet ends as we know it. You know, you have to build a wall around New York City, all the buildings fall down. Bangladesh goes underwater and all these other things. So you've seen the movie, Thinking of Nature, probably. So here's what the big problem is. Gas is fighting with renewables for the future of the next 50 years. Over a 20 year time span, our good friends at Cornell, Tony and Graffia and Bob Powers just proved that gas is, developing this form of gas adds more greenhouse gas into the atmosphere than burning coal does. The argument for drilling for gas, you're gonna be rich, we're gonna stop foreign wars, <laughs> all those things. Also, it burns cleaner than coal. It's a way out of this climate problem of coal. Well, it's malarkey. In fact, it's worse than coal in a 20 year time period. When you take a look at the next 20 years, those are the 20 years that we have to fix the problem. According to, I don't know, most of the climate scientists. If we accelerate shale gas around the world, we're in trouble. I mean, we're headed towards an evolutionary moment um, of the kind that we don't want to head towards in this life. Gas should stay in the ground. 
to stay in the ground. Period. We should be using it. We should be using less fossil fuels, not more fossil fuels. Um, Tony and Graffy, I went and visited him last week. Seems like I've been everywhere in the last week. Maybe it's just I don't know what the last week really was. <laughs> Maybe last week is like six months. But I did visit him last week. And he yeah. said, we just had our first grandkid, and that's why I'm doing this, why I did this report. That's why I looked at this. Because he's like, that kid doesn't stand a chance unless we, we start going in the opposite direction of fossil fuels. Right. And we don't talk about climate change in America. We don't want to deal with it because there were all these oil and gas scientists who said it wasn't true. <laughs> um, They, they were attacking Al Gore, um, you know, and all these kind of that. But the gas should stay in the ground, no matter what they use to extract it. Because in the current infrastructure, the pipelines leak, the wells leak, the compressor stations leak, the um, condensate tanks leak, every piece of this infrastructure leaks. And you're leaking methane, which is uh, a big fraction higher and more potent into the atmosphere than carbon dioxide is. And it, and it behaves differently in the atmosphere so that in the short term, it traps more heat than CO2 would. So this is why this 20 years is so crucial. So you should be supporting the available, not the extractive. I think you should just support all the bills, but of course the one that is a ban is the totally available. But this march on May 2nd is for a ban in New York State.